Marshalls Priora is a block paving system that actually helps prevent flooding. It's been on the market for over 15 years, is the UK's number one permeable paving system and has sold enough to cover almost 600 football pitches. But some people are still nervous about installing it. So we're going to find out today what's putting them off and prove once and for all if they're right to be cautious. First, to recap, so it may look like ordinary block paving, but Priora is designed to let rainwater flow through the gaps in the surface and into the ground below. This means that in a storm, rainwater doesn't flow into overloaded sewers and create a flood risk. All round, permeable paving seems like a great way to help prevent the flooding crisis. Why then is it not the designer's first choice every time they need hard standing? I've been looking after Priora for nearly five years now and in that time the one misconception I hear more than any other is this idea that the gaps between the blocks will get blocked up with dirt mm. and debris and that'll stop it working. So you're telling me that's not the case because the gaps do look incredibly small and I've seen a lot of block paving that's been neglected, that's full of dirt and sand. Well, on these pavements, the gaps are engineered to be far wider than they need to be. So okay. even if they get a bit blocked up, it's not going to stop the water getting down. OK, but what about if it was, I don't know, weeds or moss? What if they take hold? Surely that's going to stop the water from absorbing. <sighs> it's not going to stop the water. It might slow it down. But if you think that weeds and moss, they're not impenetrable barriers. Right. So um, even if you do get weeds and moss, it'll, the water will still go down. It'll just happen slower. OK, so what you're saying to me is even if you do no maintenance at all on a permeable pavement and it looks like it's blocked up, it's still going to work effectively. Absolutely. Mm. And, and it's not just Marshall's saying it either. There was an independent study undertaken in 2006 that proved exactly that. And you think that what's putting people off is the idea that it's expensive or tricky to maintain? We think so, yeah. OK, well, we need to sort that out, don't we? So let's prove once and for all that the permeable paving does not need an expensive maintenance regime. So we're actually on an old Priora paving system. This is, what, eight or nine years old? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's about right. OK, and it looks like it's had absolutely no TLC whatsoever. Uh, yeah, that's a fair comment. It's, uh, it's been completely unused. It's completely neglected. It certainly hasn't had any street cleaners. Um, you can even see it's, it's got some weeds growing up between the blocks around here. And I guess that's not really normal, is it? Uh, no, not at all. Um, normally, regular trafficking would keep the weeds down. Um, in addition, if you did get weeds, you'd normally just use um, some kind of weed killer. But right. because this site's near to a nuke colony, you can't use chemical weed killers. Okay. Um, so it's certainly not typical of an ordinary permeable pavement. Right. So this is an old established Priora pavement that's had absolutely zero maintenance. That's right. This is about as bad as it gets. OK, well, I guess now all we need is some rain. To provide a fair comparison, we simulated a 525 mm per hour monsoon on both pavements. So I think that proves it. We have possibly the most neglected Priora paving in the UK and it's still managed to get rid of all of that water.